Hi guys, welcome back to the Power DSP lessons. I am P. Madan Morgan coming to you from Jaspin Infotech. In this part, we are going to see the central core concept of Fourier's work. In fact, one of the transform that has been dominating the science and engineering almost more than three centuries is none other than Fourier transform. The Fourier transform is named after the great mathematician and physicist Mr. Fourier. His full name is Jean Baptiste Joseph Fourier, 1768 to 1830. He originally worked on heat propagation and submitted a paper on the propagation of heat in solid bodies in 1807 at Institute de France. The main essence of the paper is that any continuous periodic signal could be represented as the sum of properly chosen sinusoids. The two other great mathematicians who reviewed the Fourier's work among others were Laplace and Lagrange. Laplace and others accepted the Fourier's work but Lagrange strongly opposed the concept. Lagrange insisted that such an approach could not be applied for the signals with corners such as square waves. Who was correct, Fourier or Lagrange? Both were partially correct. Lagrange was correct in his claim because summation of sinusoids cannot form a signal with a corner, that is signals with discontinuities. However, we can get very close if enough sinusoids are used but will not be sufficient to produce the square wave exactly. This effect is known as Gibbs phenomenon. Okay, we have seen little bit of history behind the Fourier and Fourier transform. Let's go back and see the Fourier concept. Any continuous periodic signal could be represented as the sum of properly chosen sinusoids. What does this statement really mean? If we have a signal which is periodic, then we can decompose the signal into set of sine and cosine waves with different frequencies and amplitudes. Then, if we add all these sine and cosine waves, we can get back our original. Pretty nice concept. This important Fourier concept lays a foundation to digital signal processing. Without Fourier transform, there is no DSP. So, we need to get a clear understanding of the Fourier concept and related things. So, I am going to go to address this topic in a great deal. In fact, Fourier concept has been extended now and Fourier family has many members such as Fourier series, Fourier transform, discrete Fourier transform abbreviated as DFT and discrete time Fourier transform abbreviated as DTFT. We will see where we can use these transforms and which transform we are really interested in in the next session. See you there. Until then, bye bye.